This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001. Back to making custom toys with Mike. A character made up by FA user Mike Murdoch. As you just saw from the title card. <laughs> so uh, Mike would be a silver base, pretty much. And um, I use a new sculpting medium this time. Uh, so instead of uh, Super Sculpey, I used the uh, Avis Epoxy Sculpt. It's a two-part compound that... Um, you mix together and it will self harden in about two hours and become rock hard after a day. Um, it's a little harder to work with, as I will explain in a bit, but um, the results are far more durable than Super Sculpey could ever hope to be. So, opening up those two jars reveals uh, these two things. Uh, the stuff on the left is this uh, gray compound that smells like Cheetos. And the stuff on the right looks kind of like wet sand and has no odor at all. Uh, they both have the consistency of a, of a putty or so. And you're supposed to take equal quantities of each and thoroughly mix them together until they become this white clay-like substance. Um, there are some limitations to this stuff. Uh, first of all is that upon fresh mixing, it is literally like trying to sculpt bubble gum. It is very soft and it's uh, very sticky. Um, getting hard, getting sharp edges out of it is nearly impossible because it's too because it's too soft to get a hard edge. And even if you can get a hard edge, then it, when you try to pull your fingers away, it's going to stick to you and get itself out of shape. Uh, you can you can get rid of the stickiness by wetting the tips of your fingers, but then it gets so slippery that it's impossible to hold. Um, the solution I came up with was simply letting it sit for about half an hour after I mixed it, so that it had a chance to get a little bit stiffer and drier. Um, of course, this limits the working time to less than 90 minutes, but, you know, it's what you gotta do. Uh, this means that I have to work with small quantities of it at a time because if I mixed a batch that was too big, I could end up with extra or not have enough time to mold it all, in which case I would end up with this hardened little rock of wasted material. And uh, if I had to waste material this expensive, uh, okay, it costs about the same as my Super Sculpey does, but um, I had to order it from eBay because if you order it from the actual Avis website, the shipping is ludicrous. But that's besides the point. Um, let's get back to how the figure itself is made. So, you saw in the preview image at the beginning that uh, Mike Murdock is one of those fan characters that doesn't really take the actual Sonic character proportions to heart. So, the result is going to be a little bit shorter than what you see in the, re in the initial picture. Uh, take Silver's legs, for example. Once the armor bits are all molded on, and painted, you see that those two blue stripes, which seem to have so much space on his shins before, are now kind of crammed into this tiny little space. Um, I actually had to paint them in with a needle. The space was that small. The arms are similar to the legs, although here there isn't as much um, of an effect from the shorter limbs. Although, right before I painted it, I decided to sculpt in those uh, pointy fingernails. Um, normally I wouldn't do this because uh, I would be afraid that Super Sculpey would just crumble when sculpted this tiny. But uh, when I saw how strong the epoxy sculpt is, I went ahead and uh, made those really sharp fingers. Uh, you gotta be careful not to poke yourself with them because they actually are quite pokey. The body also took advantage of epoxy sculpt strength. Uh, these wings on the backpack, I never would have had the guts to make out of Super Sculpey because I would be afraid they'd snap off. Uh, the same thing for the um, the flaps on his uh, lower lower torso. Uh, these are all things that if I made them out of uh, Super Sculpey, I'd be too afraid that they'd break when you try to move the legs. But this epoxy sculpt stuff is so strong that I think it would actually hold up better than the figure's actual plastic parts. The head! This is Silver's head, heavily modified of course. Um, this head took three days to make. Day one... Fill in the whole big gap on his forehead and round out his head. 
Wait for the, wait for the stuff to harden. Day two, sculpt on his ears, his cheek tufts, um, some other men menial bits. Wait for that to harden. Day three, put on the hair. Wait for that to harden. And then you could finally paint it. And uh, the result looks pretty cool. Could be a little bit cooler. There we go. Yeah, he has these uh, cool little eye visors like that guy from Syndicate. Uh, here's a work in progress shot before I made the hair. And you can see the uh, how I, I fitted them in place and then took them off so I could paint it. And then uh, once it was painted, permanently glued them back on. So there was an initial complication. Um, as you can see from this photo, the first shoulder pads I made were too big and they prevented me from putting his head back on. So I had to take the shoulder pads off and make new ones. Then I could properly reassemble him. Um, even so, uh, the shoulder pads kind of clip into the cheek tufts a little bit. And if I made them out of Super Sculpey, this figure would tear itself apart when I tried to move it. So I guess it's fortunate for Mike Murdoch that I managed to get the Avis Epoxy Sculpt for, for this guy. Because otherwise, it, I probably would have had to compromise the design a bit to make more room. Isn't, isn't it funny how things work out? Okay. This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001, signing off.